Hey folks, it's Saturday night. It's time for a little Murder Hobo Inc. action. Welcome aboard. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, it's down below. TinyURL.com RPG swag. If you want to chat with us live during the show, TinyURL.com slash Inc discord uh folks we got a good one for you tonight it's an adaptation uh unfortunately mike has spoiled it for everybody uh because he uses google so now he's alerted everybody what this is so thanks mike uh but uh, i i think you guys are going to enjoy the show i hope you are uh for the next two hours hang on because we're gonna drive this thing like we stole it uh you might recognize some of our cast members all of them have been on before and we welcome them all back we'll start with ashley ashley who are you and who are you playing tonight um i'm ashley i have been playing with murder hobo inc since we started um prior to that i played in frank's other campaign uh, Frank and I also will be running a campaign at Gen Con this year, provided it still happens. So if you're going, go ahead, make sure you buy tickets early. We typically sell pretty quickly. Tonight I'll be playing Scylla, the uh, human fighter. So Very nice. Next up is Christy. Christy, who are you and who are you playing tonight? I am Christy Peterson. I usually play with the fine fellows at uh, Tainted Lands here on Twitch, um, Monday nights at 8 Eastern, um, and we have a campaign. But tonight I'm playing Captain Crash, and Captain Crash wants one thing and one thing only. <laughs> to kick somebody's ass. Uh, what is Tainted Lands' uh, website? Is it uh, twitch.com? It's tainted? on Twitch. It's um, twitch.taintedlands. Um, uh, and um, we have um, we have two two teams. I'm like on the every other Monday is my team, but every Monday RJ Cresswell um, DMs uh, his own brew campaign world, and I happen to be on the questionable team. We did a little really? bit. Of really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The way you play, you're on the questionable team. Really? That's kind of weird. Uh, and that is Monday at eight Eastern. 8 p.m. Eastern, folks. So if you're bored on Mondays, tune in there. Next up is Killjoy. Mike, Mike, who are you and who are you playing? God, he ruins everything. Killjoy. Frank, if I wasn't here, half your references wouldn't be understood. That is true. I'm Mike. Uh, I'm here only to ruin Frank's fun with what he's planning for the scenarios and to make sure someone here understands his references. Uh, tonight I'll be playing Dan Strog, the half-orc paladin. Very nice. You got anything to pitch for us? Uh, nah. Fair enough. Uh, last but certainly not least is Tyson. Tyson's been here before. Tyson, who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I am Tyson Cox. So follow me on anything, uh, everything at Tyson Cox Comedy. Uh, I do beer reviews on Instagram. Those are pretty regular, but thanks to the quarantine, I've got nothing going on. So catch me at my house. Uh, and I'm playing Avi, the Dragonborn Rogue. Should be a good night tonight, folks. Uh, if you've got your bingo card at home, we're live with bingo. Uh, it's going to be, I think, dice magnets again. I don't think I have them. Uh, no, I do not have the magnets with me. Uh, but, you know, cool dice, free dice. Uh, if you get the bingo, uh, we'll get them sent out because the post office at this time is still open. Folks, if you saw the intro, uh, you know that these guys are in a town called Hymona. They got in late last night, and since I have finally learned my lesson in previous episodes, I put them right to bed. Just put those fuckers right to bed. So uh, <laughs> they went in uh, to the Lovejoy Inn, and uh, they are waking up mid-morning to the sounds of hustle and bustle outside. Uh, as each one of them opens up their window, they look out on the terracotta-laden plaza to see a bustle of people roaming about as it appears to be market time. Uh, folks, uh, you're all awake. You've got all your shit. They are third level tonight, folks, so nothing special. Uh, they're in the safety and security of Hymona. What could possibly go wrong? Who wants to do breakfast? Ooh. I'm hungry. I'm more of a brunch gal, but I guess I can do breakfast. Well, it is kind of brunchy because you guys slept in because you were exhausted and I didn't let you burn down any taverns last night. 
Uh, as you I go did. down there, there is a common room. It's a little bit better than the Days Inn. No offense, Days Inn. But uh, there is a complimentary breakfast for each of you. Uh, the waitress uh, takes your orders, uh, tells you what the specials are, and you guys can go ahead and plan out your day, uh, just like the gentleman at the table next to you, uh, Mr. Richard Steves, is there. So, uh, you guys have an order for the waitress? Uh, yeah. Bacon. Uh, Lots of bacon. Do, uh, do you have half a pig? A half we, a pig. We do have half a pig. It is market day. We can go out and conk one on the head right now. Thank you. As you guys are ordering, uh, the door comes open and an attractive young lady whizzes in in a nice dress uh, and she runs right to the window behind da, 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 three. One, two, three. Captain Karash, uh, the lady wiggles in behind you. Oh, pardon me, kind sir. And looks out the window and each of you can give me a perception check. All right, let's go. Fifteen. Let's see. Uh, I've got a dirty 20. Um, Five. <laughs> wow. Uh, Captain Karash, you take particular note. Uh, Cilia, Scylla? Scylla. Scylla. Uh, you also notice the young girl, uh, and it is clear that the young lady is smitten with something outside the window. Um, Tyson, what's your character's name? Avi. Avi, that's right. <laughs> I put it down as AVI. Uh, Avi <laughs> and Dan Strog, uh, you are burying your face in the plate of the half pig. You don't give a shit, even though Captain Karash is going to be pretty honked off when she notices you're hogging all the bacon. Uh, <laughs> Celia, Captain Karash, uh, what do you want to do about uh, the love struck child? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have time for love struck children. I want more bacon. What's her deal? <laughs> uh, you, you, you notice that there are strands of fresh, crispy meat hanging off of Damstrong and Avi. Uh, the lady comes up, or the young lady comes up and approaches number two, Dan Strong, uh, and taps you on the shoulder. Kind oh, of I ask you a question. <laughs> she's too close. Yes, but be quick. Me eating pig. Uh, yes, I see that. If you'd like, I will uh, buy you more pig if you can do me a small favor. And she produces a small piece of parchment with fragrance on it and wrapped in a ribbon. I don't trust it. Can you go out there and uh, give that lovely sight in the purple this missive for me? I'm, I'm just too shy. Have do your own dirty work. <laughs> 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 And the, the rails are shaking already, <laughs> folks. <laughs> I mean, it's for half a big. I would love to do this for you. For you. Please. Avi, do you want to do it? Oh, I'd love to. Okay. You want to finish breakfast? Ah. Uh, I've, I've eaten enough. <laughs> uh, Avi's going to go out and deliver the missive to the lovely and purple. Uh, I want to look out the window to see who the, like, who, uh, who is uh, deserving of this letter. Uh, D12 it's against my me. letter now. Give it. Is it D12? Right. Yep, D12 against me. Nine. Three. Uh, you see a, a, a strapping young man uh, with a nice chiseled chin and a pointy beard uh, just doused in purple. However, uh, you notice he's with a young lady. Uh, what's she wearing? Uh, purple and yellow. What's her charisma? Uh, her charisma is the same as the young lady behind Captain Karash, an 18. Both are very beautiful. I, I'm going to turn to the lady. And be like, the gentleman hello. is only a 17. So. I'm going to go say hello because, you know, I'm kind of crazy. Hey, I'm done with bacon, ladies. You can have me all to yourself. What is this? <laughs> this is Martha and this is Stuart. I'm happy to meet you. Uh, yeah, I go deliver the note to the uh, strapping young lad. Very good. Uh, uh, Captain Karash, you're with him. Yeah. And then if if I could, while he's uh, reading the letter, I pull out my banjo and play him a nice banjo love song. Some nice banjo love song background music. Oh, very nice. <laughs> uh, Celia and Dan Strong, are you still stuffing your face with bacon or are you going to go out with your cohorts? I'm going to, uh, well, while I'm gonna, you would, yeah, I want to watch this shit show. Yeah. I'm going to ask the 
young woman who asked me originally about the let about the task. And while you're playing a song of an about this Martin, fellow. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Avi, Captain Karash, you go outside. It is a beautiful day. I mean, it is just fantastic. It's like 72, slight breeze, sun shining. Everybody's happy here in the marketplace. Uh, Avi, you hand over the missive. Start playing a tune on your banjo. Captain Karash, you throw on the charm and the seduction skills. And Dan Strong, you turn to uh, Tamara Tabulette who looks stunned. You're welcome. And she goes, oh no, he's giving it to the wrong person. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Avi, Captain Karash, initiative. (laughs) Yes. Already, okay. Let's go. Uh, 12. Uh, 19. 15. Uh, Captain Karash, uh, how much charm are you laying on the young lady? I am laying it on thick. I'm like doing the Terry Crews peck job. Nice. Very nice. Give me a per, uh, give me a persuasion check. Oh, not too bad. I don't think I'm too bad. Oh, no. Is <laughs> 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 that a one? It's a two plus three. So five. <laughs> Hi, very nice. Uh, Captain Karash, you're getting a feeling here that, you know, the guns are, <laughs> are not working on her. Uh, Avi, <laughs> playing the tune, he pops you right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, what the fuck? Uh, does, a, does a 16 get you? Yes, uh, 16 hits. You reel backwards with four hit points as he draws blood from the nose, calls you a varlet, and demands to know who you are. I don't know him. (laughs) Uh, Uh, Avi, it is now your turn in the initiative. Dan Strong, Celia, uh, you see your friend get popped, and Tamara's like, (gasps) (laughs) <laughs> as things start to roll downhill this isn't the first time avi's uh a made a mistake and gotten punched in the face for it or b tried to try to talk his way out of a fight uh he's very persuasive uh oh please my friend no i think there's a misunderstanding i just if I you screw this up i'm gonna beat you with your band <laughs> fair it's fair uh but please i just i want to spread love and it's a beautiful day i just wanted to play some beautiful music and uh so i like to roll a persuasion on that try to talk him out of it sure go ahead this is uh, not how we get woo. 18. 18 is good. Uh, 18, unless I roll a natural 20, 18, I think you will convince him to hold. Uh, he is bristling, just like Captain Karash was a minute ago, only instead of trying to impress <laughs> anybody, he's just fighting back the anger. He's just shaking like Tom Hanks uh, in the baseball biopic. Captain you- Karash, you're up. Uh Obviously, Avi's taken one to the snoot. Obviously, the individual you were hitting on is just not that into you. Uh, And you've got a hulking individual who's quite pissed. Listen, listen, listen. I was just trying to talk to the lady, but I don't want to have to put these on you. And I have to put a lamb on you. And I got Craig and Kyle here to back me up, okay? Uh, Give me an intimidation check. All right. Uh huh. I don't know. I don't even. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, Dan Strong, you're chewing on some really good bacon. Uh, <laughs> Celia, <laughs> you are flanking Tamara, who disappears. She is leaving. She is hauling like, we, ass. She's, so going she's just running door. out. I'm going. Hey, 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 hey! Who was it supposed to go to? Uh, see if you can. Hit her by grabbing her arm. AC 11. Um, so that is going to be a dirty 21. Sure. So. You grab a hold of her, kind of yank her back, ask her, and she's like, uh, he was supposed to give it to Madeline. Who the fuck is Madeline? So the girl <laughs> next to the dude in purple? Correct. That She points out the dude in purple is her bodyguard, oh. and he was not supposed to see that missive. 
Well, in my okay. defense, I come from a very uh, heteronormative uh, area. It's my mistake. I should have been more questioning. <laughs> you I should mean, have, because that, that would have actually kept you out of trouble. But you guys... I, I love how you guys did that. You just assumed. Uh, Honestly, Dan, lady, you give the paper to a bunch of strangers. What the fuck do you expect? Seriously. <clears throat> she said the fellow in the purple, correct? Uh, uh, the beauty yeah. of the purple. Yeah, the yeah, beauty, the, the vision. The, the, yeah. The, the make, lady. make him be beautiful, too. No, as soon as you said that there was a lady next to him in purple, I knew, Frank. I'm like, it goes to the woman, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Well, that would have helped Avi and Captain Karash now, but no. So we yeah, yeah. get to have fun with it. So. I was just letting them make their own choices. So Dan Strong, smart. what would you like to do? Am I aware of the commotion going on outside? Oh, yeah. It's right there in the window. There, uh, People are fucking circling around him. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> and it's going to be the bodyguard's turn next. Let's go. Can I go up and just observe? Oh, sure. You get you gonna the, double fist the bacon. I'm gonna have bacon in my offhand. <laughs> Fair enough. Big uh, old uh, slap of strips. Nice, Avi. The man is just <laughs> guards. <laughs> Punch him in the face. <laughs> not your turn, uh, Avi. You're up. <laughs> At least he's not beating you with your banjo. That's true. Uh, well, I yeah. say, uh, all right, well, the thing here is, and I hit him with the banjo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. He's wearing, <laughs> he's wearing studded leather, so it's AC 17 because it's Let's magic go. armor. Uh, what's my plus to hit on banjo? I was going dex based. <laughs> sure, we'll go dex based. <laughs> okay. Uh, still not enough. Uh, 16. Uh, you clang one off his uh, armor and ding, lose a string. That's oh. fine. I yell, uh, percussion, and I keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dan, uh, Dan, we'll, so. we'll move back to Silly and Dan Strog real quick. Dan Strog is leaving. He's going out to envision this uh, mess. Uh, Cilia, what are you doing? Or I'm going to follow sorry. Dan Strog. Uh, you two... Uh, takes you no time whatsoever. Go ahead and give me, both of you give me initiative rolls so I can add you into this mess. What if I was just going to go sit down 21. there and you, play, you can, but... play on my vial, the devil went down to Venice. Nice. I'm going to dance. 21. Uh, 20, not natural. So, uh, <laughs> Avi, Captain Karash, a musical number is chiming in with Avi's uh, less than stellar banjo skills as your two associates come up. Uh, Scylla, Dan Strong, you notice the vision in purple and yellow whoop, meld into the growing crowd and you can see a couple of heads wearing silver acorn helmets, i.e. city guards, bouncing their way through the crowd. Uh, we'll go with uh, Captain Karash. Uh, your associate has tried to tag him, but uh, clipped one off his armor. What would you like to do? I will say, um, let's go. The fuzz is here. We got to get out. <laughs> I've got warrants. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Uh, no, no, I can get away. I was like, all right, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna just pretend to be dancing like nothing's happening here, and I'm just gonna walk, you know, like, um, and keep dancing. backing away. Yeah, dancing. Oh, oh, Fair enough. Uh, you pass Mr. Viola hanging out. Uh, Avi D12 against me. Oh boy, seven this time. Uh, one. <laughs> oh my goodness, my dice are with me today. <laughs> oh no. Maybe you just try and hit me again? I'm moving. I didn't try to hit him <laughs> twice. There was one time I tried to hit him. Now to 20. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. At least he's punching you. Uh, take three hit points this okay. time. Uh, you're going to have a shiner. Uh, you also notice here come the guards, but it is your turn. So if you want to try and whack them upside the head, by all means, go ahead. Um... And it's an improvised weapon. I'll give you the D8 if you can hit him. Uh, let me... Too bad you don't have a frying pan. Uh, no frying pan, but I do have... Um... What do I have? 
uh, I say, I'm sorry. I think there's a big misunderstanding. Uh, please put it there. And I go to shake his hand. D12 against me. All right. Ooh. Let's pull a better D12 out this time. This is going to be wonderful. 11. He looks at you puzzled and then quickly grabs your hand. You feel uh, the man clinch down. Uh, oh, now I have to decide if I want to do this or not. Oh, I want to uh, do a thing. Just roll for I just it. realized what even I had. Odds. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go even. I do it. Odd, I don't. Even. Uh, odd. Uh, okay, I'm going to try to make another persuasion check to get out of this. Uh, otherwise, I was going to shocking grasp him, and I rolled wrong. So uh, I don't think that's the best way to do it. So. You have the ring. <laughs> the yeah, that's basically a, a joker. Yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, <clears throat> Please, I think there. Uh, it, it, smile, you are on the punk. T- if you just look over here. <laughs> yes. We are. I, we, this is just a test. You are a fantastic bodyguard. You are doing the most wonderful job. You have passed. You have alerted the guards, and you've done such an amazing job. You've kept the little miss here safe from all sorts of things. I will take my prank letter back and just be on my way. You've sec- you secret shopper. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> secret shopper. And your persuasion, please be a one. <laughs> <laughs> 18, another 18. Uh, completely mystified him. He's not really sure what the heck's going on. <laughs> and he, he still has your hand, but you feel the grip ease up. And you see him do one of these to yell for the guards again. Oh, no. Uh, can I grab the letter and run that at that point? <laughs> uh, dexterity as your modifier to grab it. Dex is my good shit. I want to assist by throwing... Uh, um, 16. I want to throw my thousand ball bearings now. <laughs> okay, I like that idea. Uh, 16, yoink! <laughs> you take off. Uh, you hear, ching, 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 uh, As you see Captain Karash's arm do this, it rains down pebbles everywhere. The crowd is starting to slip and slide, including some of the guards making that way. Uh, Scylla, we'll go with you. What do you want to do? Uh, so first, you said stop, give me a perception check. Oh. You notice that there are several ball bearings that fell just behind this big lug in purple. Oh. What would you like to do? I'm going to bump into him. And you're just like a bump, like a shoulder, like as if I'm, as if I'm trying to get away, but I'm perfectly like <laughs> bumping him. You know what I mean? This is high mode. <laughs> sure, go ahead and attack at advantage. Knew you're gonna say that, Christy. <laughs> Eighteen. Oh yeah, you give him a shove. He starts to tip backwards. Avi. The man releases his grip and he goes up and over. <laughs> Dan Strong, what do you want to do? You're seeing this shit show unfold before you. <laughs> As you see Captain Karash, <laughs> get ready to bum rush this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. So did you say the little lady in purple ran off? Purple and yellow? Yes, she is taken off. I'm going to follow her. She, You will be headed into guards if you want. I mean, they don't know what's going on. Should they be? Would you they have prob- any? Re- you, can, you can probably get away. All right. Uh, so you want to head into the crowd, going the exact opposite direction and try and find her? Yes. Fair enough. Captain Karash, you brace yourself for impact. You're going to steamroll this guy, but you notice that your associate Scylla uh, hockey checks him into the glass and oh, he pitches backwards. Um, oh, good one. Up on well, Abby. High five. And, um, high five. High five. Or should we need a high elbow? There's a pandemic, man. <laughs> there you go. Keep it safe. I mean, yeah, the crowd. I mean, but still, um, hmm. let's, uh, let's try to get out of this look. All I have is the crime of dancing and trying to find love. So yeah, Avi is the only true criminal here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know. Like, what about Martha really? and Stewart in the stock market? 
Yeah, they aren't, they aren't here Stewart. yet. <laughs> Stop Martha adding NPCs Stewart. early. <laughs> well, no, no, that's the each of the guns' names. Martha uh, Stewart. Nice. Stewart. They All destroyed right. the stock market. Yeah, make a crash. Um, let's see. Uh, I say, uh, I say, we uh, follow that lady and give her what for for starting this mess. Maybe. Or we give her that letter. Let's just give her that letter and be I, done with it. Wash our hands of this shit. Demand some the money, face. maybe. Clutch she looks face. like she has money, though. Maybe. All right, ma'am. You know, you, you said magic word right there. Let's, let's go. Money. So money. you two are going to go after Dan Strong and go after the chick. Uh-huh. Yes. Fair enough. I am going to wail and flail on the ground, screaming for guards. Avi, it's up to you. Uh, uh, you see your three associates plunge headlong into the crowd. You see the acorn helmets trying to get their balance. There are people left and right. Uh, Captain Karash has really chaotically intensified this whole scene. You're welcome. I would like to, uh, if I can, dip into an alley. If there's no uh, alley <laughs> here, I would like to just, while I'm pushing myself through the crowd, cast a sky self on myself uh, and make myself look like a little tiny old lady just having such a hard time getting through the crowd. Give me a perception check to see if you oh, notice an alley. I don't know how I've made my character so bad. I have good performance, good persuasion, ter- negative one perception. Uh, ten. <laughs> ten? Uh, no, you're going to have to dive in uh, between one of the market stalls to go ahead and transform yourself into the old lady with the apple. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. E12 against me. <laughs> I don't like, hang on, the wine ones were good. The wine ones were doing well. <laughs> one? Okay. I'm going to just pick the one I can get out easily then. 10. There you go. Uh, you managed to dodge in before uh, any of the guards help out uh, the dude in purple. Do your disguise self. You are now a little old lady. However, perception at disadvantage to see where Captain Karash, Scylla, and Dan Strog have disappeared to. So you're saying I don't find them? <laughs> I'm huge, though. I'm pretty big. Uh, non natural one. I rolled a oh. two. <laughs> You have zero idea what they went I have got to look at my sheet real quick. How is this possible? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just min-maxed and all your mins are in a really bad spot right now. Uh, Dan Strog, we'll start with you. Uh, D12 against me. That's bad. 11. You spot her. She's moving through the crowd. Uh, Scylla, D12 against me. Oh, dang it. I didn't put a D12 out. Have you played Murder Hobo Inc. before? Yes, I have, Frank. I have nine. You don't have at least like one set of each die? I, you know, I do, but I forgot to set it out. I have this whole bag of die. Same, but I set out like three full sets, and that's like normal. Nine, nine is good enough. Captain Karash, D12 against me. Oh, no. Oh. I wrote it down wrong. One. Captain Karash, uh, you don't see where she went, but you do see Dan Strog and Scylla, and you can follow them. All It'll right. be number three in this pile. Dan okay. Strong, you're uh, leading the pack. You're bobbing and weaving. Give me three dexterity checks, DC 10. And you're the half orc, right? I'm half orc as well. Oh. I'm just a little bit more articulate and <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Wait, what? Which one are you, Dan Strong? Fork. Okay. So, so yeah. Three dex checks. Three dex checks, DC 10 or better. <clears throat> yeah, those all beat it naturally, and I have plus. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're following the fullback through the crowd as people are uh, dodging to get out of the way rather than take a elbow or a head. <clears throat> excuse me, headbutt to them. Uh, we'll move back to Avi. Avi, you are in the middle of the marketplace. Uh, give me another perception check. Let's see if uh, the human wave is catching your eye. I was looking over my sheet. I had, I had my nature and my perceptions were switched, so I have bad nature. Just one perception, so I just don't want to seem shifty. But uh, no, I'm gonna seven. Move all, I'm going to move all my checks to nature now. <laughs> <laughs> 17. Um, For roll what? Roll to 16. 16 is what you rolled? Uh, 17. Oh, okay. You see the phalnix of the human wave as 
your three associates are carving right through these people. You also see a mixture of guards trying to help up the guy in purple who is frantically looking for you uh, as he turns his head. A three. He doesn't see you at all. He's looking in the exact opposite direction, even though you're a little old lady, so he wouldn't notice you. Yeah. I uh, I turn my uh, my banjo is now a cane, by the way. I'm just zip, zipping just as fast. Oh, I got to get to the bread I was baking at home. <laughs> I head towards the companions. Three DC 10 dexterity checks because the wave will have collapsed again let's see if you get knocked over or knock over somebody well i am a frail little well i i am uh i'm, I'm a i'm fucking six seven look up here. <laughs> i'm still a tall old lady i'm five seven in disguise self uh dc 10 uh yes alice and Jan jamie first okay. one is 21 21 and then five uh let's see uh one two male Three, four, female, five, six, kid. Oh no! I hope it's the kid. little lady knocks over a kid, <laughs> <laughs> and he is carrying. He's not carrying anything. He's leading a passel of ducks that all fly up and then fly back down, and you cause complete and utter chaos. Hell yeah! Dan Strong, uh, D twelve against me. Eight. Nine. Uh, you reach out and are within arm's reach of her if you want to try and grab her. What's the roll to grab her? 11. Just a normal hit. You can use dexterity if you want. Can you use strength? Uh, yeah, but if you go too high, I'm knocking her over. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a 7 to grab her? <laughs> you tear off the back of her dress <laughs> <laughs> giving her and everybody else around quite the view uh, oh, no. uh Zilla, captain karash perception checks please i'll be right back 15 no 15 uh you both notice that dan strong has now Ripped a large hole in the back of her dress, exposing uh, female underwear uh, and not buttocks. But you also see, just beyond her, uh, a group of dudes in purple and gold headed this way. And one of them looks a lot like her and looks pissed. Yeah, I'm going to nope out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to nope the fuck out of this one. Oh, up to no. garage, it's up to you. <laughs> I have thoughts of confliction. Should I be chivalrous or save my ass? Hmm. Your I'm going to save my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so Dana Strong with a handful of chick clothing. You two, whoop. Uh, <laughs> over, over to Avi. What's your movement speed as a little old lady? Uh, I mean, it's certainly 30. Oh, okay. So you're going to cut through the crowd pretty well. Uh, you can apologize to the little boy who you made cry and make them nah. laugh. Uh, or, okay. So you move forward. Give me a perception check. Damn it. Should have made it nature. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of ducks are these? I don't know. <laughs> they are La Canards. Ten. Ten. You notice that uh, Dan Strong. Pulls up his prize <laughs> in the form of uh, lacy purple and yellow clothing. You see the shapely outline of Madeline's buttocks. And then beyond Madeline, you see several dudes in purple and gold headed this way. Uh, since you were in close proximity to Madeline initially, you recognize that one of the dudes coming this way Looks a lot like her, almost like a twin. Okay. Um, how close am I to the uh, to uh, Dan Strong and the lady? Uh, you'll be about 12 feet away. Dan Strong didn't manage. He slowed her down, uh, but she'll be about 14 feet up. Uh, her brother and his associates will be about 16 to 18 feet closing quick. Oh my God. Okay. So am I able to get to her and cast Mending? on her dress 
uh, if you can rip it out of Dan Strong's hand. All right, I'd like to, uh, as, as a little old lady that he's never seen before, I'm going to uh, hustly, bustly get by and be like, what is wrong with you, son? And try to grab the, <laughs> uh, grab the uh, thing from his hand and go over and just kind of like, like shittily po- shit can poster, just slap it on the lady's back and cast mending. Uh, uh, can I attempt for- to hold on to it? <laughs> sure. Uh, I will take strength checks from both of you. High one gets to keep it. And if you tie, I, you tear it in half. That one. Nine. Uh, Dan Strong is confused, and you whiz past him in your octogenarian ability, grab a hold of it, and put a firm grip right on the young lady's ass. <laughs> I was hoping to get just like on the, not her, like her back. I don't know. I want to just, yeah, I'm an old lady. Hopefully no one gets too weirded. Fair enough. Uh, give me a D12 against me. bottom uh one so yeah (laughs) unhand my daughter you old crone (laughs) (laughs) hey thanks for playing tonight tyson (laughs) uh oh no i just that young ruffian uh, and i point not towards dan Strog. i point the other way that, that ruffian over there i was just uh, i needed her a nice backing and i i, I fixed it up to, uh, saving her modesty i don't know why she's uh, woody allen <laughs> email woody allen yeah. uh give me a straight up d20 roll if you get a one or a two it's either going to be Scylla or captain karash that you point at on accident okay uh 18 Fair enough. Uh, you point to the little kid crying with the ducks. Well, he's sad. Uh, Dan Strong, what are you doing? Let's see. He's dealing with someone getting mad. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, while you were gone, your two associates said, fuck that, <laughs> and peeled off. Uh, <laughs> Leaving you I, holding the lady's underwear. I am not Captain Savaho here, so <laughs> we can just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was eating bacon and dancing in the streets. That was a lot showing the guns. <laughs> I'm gonna just whip out that like that like hunk of bacon and eat some. Try and look inconspicuous. Fair enough. Uh, everybody, perception check. Oh, I might have to come up with another distraction. 18. Thirteen. Seventeen. Thirteen. Barrage. Five. <laughs> Scylla, Avi, Dan Strog, uh, you hear shouting behind you. Uh, Avi, sorry, you recognize that voice. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still a little old lady. Mm-hmm. So uh, Captain Karash is completely oblivious to it. So the bodyguard's focus is going to be curiously on the little old lady. Yeah. Um, he quickly approaches Scylla, Karash, uh, and Dan Strog. They, the guys whip past you, followed by the town guards. Come up. They look at the little old lady. They look at the brother. He's like, are you okay? What's going on? Where is that guy with the banjo? Um, nobody knows of any guy with a banjo. Um, they point out that you, little old lady, has pointed to the kid at ripping the dress. Uh, but the little old lady apparently has magical skill and magically fixed it, even though uh, got a whole handful of butt. Uh, and they are confused. Uh, the bodyguard says, This is what I'm looking for, it's a dude like this. Real smart mouth. Hits you with a banjo when you aren't looking. Let's spread out. Let's find this guy. Yeah, find him. He's terrible. <laughs> I, are you going to yell that out since you were right there next to him? <laughs> no. Give me a D20, Captain Garage. Let's see how that rolls going. <laughs> Natural 20. Hey, go get that guy. <laughs> uh, the, that guy. He needs banjo, uh, too. <laughs> The brother grabs his sister and one of the guards, and they hustle her off uh, like Secret Service agents. Uh, the others all expand their search out while you guys are, oh, look, oh, 
weavers and tailors and mm. vegetables. Oh my! Dead uh, have bacon. Mm, tasty. Good news so is bad. you four have a, uh, mostly evaded a beating. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you bleeding as the old crone too? No, I think that gets covered up. I, I mean, that's okay. I think that's game discretion, uh, but yeah, no, I'll give you that. Uh, so it looks like uh, marketplace in High Mona is uh coming back you see some dudes with brooms sweeping up all those damn uh ball oh. bearings that captain garage hey hey in. hey those are mine thanks <laughs> I, those back. I dropped them uh where would you guys like to go <laughs> Ooh, you I'm have gonna... you have a blank slate uh, I'm gonna go to mm -hmm. up to Captain Karash and, and uh, as a little old lady be like do you think we still get that half a pig I think so. Dan Strong, some old bat's hitting on you, I think. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm not going to use the term gilf, but it's a gilf. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to deck her. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Why are you punching old ladies? <laughs> Don't hit a lady. Murder Hobo <laughs> Inc., have you ever played this game? <laughs> That's a, uh, Don't hit the lady. 21 to hit. That hits. Oh, God. It's You're punching D4. little old ladies. What is wrong with you? Now I have to punch him. <laughs> Answer our dump stab is intelligence. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> eight damage. Eight for on a oh Jesus. I have a plus five to hit. Yeah. You are bleeding again. Now does the disguise self is that a concentration? Uh, and if so, is it dropping? Let me, I believe it's concentration. So uh, D20, 10 or better, you can keep concentration. As soon as I see him punch him, I'm going to kick him. I'm gonna kick him. <laughs> I knew you'd kick somebody. <laughs> sigil semantic. Uh, it doesn't say concentration. Uh, okay. Do you want to no. drop it anyway? or? Yeah, I'm just, well, well, I rolled a 20 on that. So I'm going to keep it up. I don't want to drop it because I'm still in the uh, marketplace. Fair enough. Uh, Captain Karash, uh, let's see. Captain Karash, odd. Uh, Scylla, even. Okay. Odd. Uh, Captain Karash, you're up next, followed by Scylla. I kick Dan Strong. What the fuck is wrong with you? Here comes Kyle. Give me a kick. <laughs> Little old lady, mean bitch. Mean punch. <laughs> You need to work on your articulation and language skills, sir. I'm going to kick it into you. Uh, nope. That's a one. That's a one? No. Oh, well, you think? Who you kicked. <laughs> Five. You've kicked a child. <laughs> no. no. Not the boy. Not as even. You've kicked a little girl who is now screaming for her mother uh, <laughs> that the mean guy just kicked her in the face. Oh my god. Stella? Is she alive? Rush, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it was an accident. It was swung left. Scylla, you're up. Uh, it's quickly decaying. <laughs> I'm like, look like this. It's like a girl in the face. Girl. I'm gonna take the little old lady by the arm and be like, let's leave here. I, this is this I leave. <laughs> Uh, Dan Strong, you notice that your associate Scylla somehow is helping the little old lady that you damn near murdered uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, you, All four of you notice, yet again, a circle is surrounding you <laughs> as Scylla. you enter the octagon. <laughs> Scylla, please explain why you help old lady. <laughs> because you're not supposed to attack old people. What's wrong with you? Old lady being bitch, though. I just feel as bacon matter. as I saw. It. <laughs> Let me just go eat bacon in corner. Fine. Yeah, you do that. I take his bacon and wipe the little girl's tears and then <laughs> pull it up. And said, I'm sorry. Prove, I was trying prove to prove it. Prove you can take my bacon. <laughs> yes. Strength versus strength. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I got a plus six, 18, so. 21. He's not letting go of that bacon. I got all. more than him. Let me see. I can't do baths right now. I've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> 18 plus oh, 24. Yes. 24, yes. What was yours, Dan Strong? 21. Uh, she grabs a strip or two out, and then she puts 
bacon fat directly into the small child's I'm eye crying, and crying. Its tears, causing and then, it to <laughs> scream louder. And then I put her up and just push her over <laughs> to her mother. I'm sorry. And then haul ass. The strength roll on that push, though? Yeah. <laughs> How do you kill the child when you push her to her mother? <laughs> 14. You shove her at her mother, we'll say. Not push, you shove. Yeah, shove her. Violently Go. shove her. Are you going to head off with little old lady Avi and Scylla or go a different direction? I'm 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 going towards uh the tavern. I i I don't know where I'm going, you know, I don't know where they're going, so I'm just going to where I was last at. So fair enough. Uh, Dan Strong, uh, you kept most of your bacon. It's still good. <laughs> you look around. Dan Strong alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go in the direction where the uh, <clears throat> the pompous looking assholes went with the girl. <laughs> Fair enough, because you haven't been beat on yet. Uh, give me a perception check. Net one. Ooh, I'm looking call. at the sky. Good news, you're back at your original destination. <laughs> uh, give me a perception check. Uh, Captain Karash, perception check. Okay. All right. Um, Let's split the party. Mm -hmm. Ten. Mm -hmm. We are so great at this. We're doing yeah. awesome. Da Dan Strong, so what was your perception? Awesome what? Perception? Again? <laughs> Uh, 13. Uh, Dan Strong, you notice that Captain Karash is going into the Shakespeare Tavern right next to the <laughs> inn you guys are staying at. Uh, you can join her or go Damn. eat more bacon. Can I call out and ask why he's going into the tavern in the first place? To I think get we all the know. Fuck but... away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault you side with old lady. What she bitch. is wrong with you? She's so old. many things. You are big. You are full of bacon and dumbness. Let's go. <laughs> Forget about this dumbass day. <laughs> I think it's been an awesome day, and it's only been like a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as Dan Strong and Captain What's Cross. What did you say? If I uh, if I get above a fifteen, I'll go into the tavern with Karash. Fourteen. I'm staying out here and just uh, munching on some bacon. No, I can't trust you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot trust you to your own devices, man. We got to tighten up, and I can't leave you alone. I I'm the only one that can get away with petty crimes. You go to jail. <laughs> it is curtains. Okay. What do you mean? I got away with ripping that wo woman's dress off. That's not something Unintentionally. to brag about. <laughs> it's, it's a petty crime. Sexual assault is a petty crime in, in America. It wasn't intentional. Not Mona. <laughs> I was just me trying to grab her arm. That's all. Listen, to stop you her. heard of me too? Okay. No is no. All right. You just don't go up running around snatching ladies' dresses off without an accident. Sense. No. Well. <laughs> Me Scylla and Avi, how about you two? Uh, which direction did you guys want to take off in as you try and you wanna, blend into the crowd? Do we want to circle back around and catch up with the people, Avi? Yeah. Like, all right. When so you're not an old lady and our other pal can figure it the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> yes. I don't know if I want to drop the old lady. Well, yeah. If we, could, if we could please find just like an alleyway or maybe you make a big door and uh, I hide behind you and ha ha, back to my handsome self. Give me a percent I... check, Avi. Oh, no. And uh, Scylla, you too. Uh, I rolled a nine. Or I, I got a nine. Two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> he wants to go into an alley with you. At least it's not Dan Strong, so you're probably not going to be assaulted. <laughs> That's an indie thing now, so yes. we won't go. I guess there. so. I guess so. <laughs> uh, you find an alley uh, where you can change. You look around. You don't see the kid with the ducks. You don't see uh, the girl that Captain Karash punched out. We don't see Duck Boy. We don't see Bacon Girl. No. We don't see. <laughs> you don't see Water Boy. Nobody's there right now. Martha Stewart's not there. There, Dwayne the Brick Martha Johnson's Stewart's not there. Not there are no cool NPCs at this moment in time. All right. 
Uh, we see nothing. Okay. I would like to drop my disguise, but if I have like a raincoat or anything in my um, pack, I'd like to like throw it over me or if there's a tarp or anything, <laughs> just that way I can kind of, because I mean, I'm a dragonborn, like a six, seven dragonborn, so I'm already big. Uh, oh no. I, I also dress pretty garishly. So it's like, mm, let's maybe maybe tone it down a bit. <laughs> yeah, hide the, hide, the ban- hide the banjo under the. <laughs> so you're a humpback now. Yep. <laughs> Scrunched down with a wooden penis that sticks out the other end of your trench coat. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the good news what? is the alley because his banjo sticks out. Uh, mm. Avi Silla, the alley you've chosen is directly across from the two half orcs yapping at each other. Uh, so you do see your party. Uh, you look around and you do not see any guards. The argument between those two is not causing any consternation uh, with the people, they've just decided to whatever business as usual and try not to step on any more marbles that might have been missed by these street cleaners i'll give you half your bag back captain garage all right uh so Scylla and avi you can reunite and it feels so good if you want mm-hmm. and i think all we right. are, i think we earned this drink uh, <laughs> yeah yeah time to drink uh, i second that motion <laughs> meanwhile we're gonna write a note and pin it on his back that he is a feeble mind and just pay him no mind Okay. <laughs> now now I a- know why Blake wanted to kill you. <laughs> uh, everybody walks into the bar. Everybody perception check. Hold on, new dice. I'm tired of it. Twelve. Nineteen. That's a D twelve. That's not actually a. <laughs> well, with the way you're rolling, I don't think it's gonna make. Nineteen. Much- Twenty. Not that. Uh, Captain Karash and Avi. Uh, you notice oh, a man standing there, looking out the window, watching you guys come in, and he's got his arms crossed, and he's just kind of pondering your actions. Uh, as you four go up to the bar, you can order drinks. Uh, Dan Strong, you're almost done with your bacon. Uh, I'd like to man- offer the last of it to uh, Karash. As, as a, a peace, peace offering. offering. <laughs> All right. It's cool. Uh, the man in the maroon approaches Scylla. Just what in the hell are you doing? Trying to get a drink? No. Out there. I saw the whole thing. What are you guys doing out there? I'm literally just trying to live my life. I don't know what they're doing. (laughs) So I don't know what you saw me do. But I just want to drink. Rosh, you want to say anything to this dude? I don't know. Hey, hey. Do not not even get us started on this day. It started with bacon, ended up with punches and kicks, and then we're back here at the tavern trying to spend some money. You mind your business, man. (laughs) Give me an intimidation check. All right, uh, 18 plus uh, 25. <laughs> I'm proficient in um, intimidation. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Uh, looks at Dan Strong. I see you finished your bacon. Anything you want to tell me about? Some girl come up to us, asked me to hand letter to other person. Dumb rogue handed to wrong person, almost get beat up. <laughs> then he disappear. And then old woman harass me for trying to stop girl to hand, talk to her about letter. All that's, that's all. true. And all I had bacon. True. That's all I know. Yeah, we have bacon. High five, bacon friend. Finally, last but not least, he turns to Avi and goes, you know you don't blend in at all, right? <laughs> I'm restringing my banjo. Uh, <laughs> I think it would be a pity to hide such a uh, beautiful face. So I think it's a a boon to not blend in. Yes. Uh, Who wants to blend in anyway? Nobody. You know that the Montego family will find you. Who? Who the fuck? The folks in purple. Oh. 
Well, if anything, they were actually uh, quite rude. Uh, I just gave a letter uh, to. Uh, I, I, they, they said give letter, give the letter to a very pretty person, and I gave it to the feller, which says a bit about myself deep down. I do think, um, but I. And then he hits me. I hit him back. It's just all very quid pro quo. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. water under the bridge. Persuasion. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. Let's go. I gotta make sure I do it right. Where's that? Yeah, twenty-three. How would you four like a job? <laughs> well, the job I took earlier today didn't get me half a pig. So <laughs> this How job pays a hundred gold pieces. Right. Each or total? the job. Each. Oh, Dan Strong is okay. interested. All right. You could buy a lot of pigs, and I nudge Dan Strong. I don't know if you know who runs this city or not. I do not. Eighth uh, row, by the way, they're dressed. What is this? <laughs> the family <laughs> that you are causing great consternation for has caused great consternation for my family as well. And I would like to hire each of you to go about a very easy job. What are you, the Jets? <laughs> <laughs> we are the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> you know, I have enough, a cousin. Like He's in the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> my uncle used to play for them. Yes. Uh, they are expecting a very important package this evening down on the docks. My family would like it if that package didn't reach them. Oh. So I have this small bag. If you could use the items in the bag to take care of the package, I will meet you here at midnight and pay you the money. So we just have to steal this package. No, 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 no. The items in the bag will tell you all you need to know about what the job is. But first, you must accept the job. But if it's a balloon and loop, I'm not really uh, <laughs> that kind of will I'm not that help, kind of dragon. Does will this, it help pay for uh, all these new banjo strings? Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred hundred gold each. Look, we've already taken a strange package today. I don't feel like touching another man's package. <laughs> I mean, oh, can to we turn back out of it bag. after looking into this bag? Yes. Uh, I would prefer you don't. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's what, just, what, what, I mean, what else do we have going on? I mean, this is already a shit day, so let's just make the worst of it. Who can wants I get the some bag? more bacon? I want to bake. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Oh, you no. open it up, and it's an arson kit. Oh my favorite! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a we're gonna have a good day, y'all. The box what? is about yay tall by yay wide. Should be delivered on the docks right after sunset. I don't want anybody hurt, but I don't want that package to be intact when the Montego family gets it. Uh, I just blow two questions, up, y'all. Just uh, simple two questions. Uh, do you have a healer for me, perhaps? Because uh, um, I got punched right in the face several times. Uh, <laughs> second of all, in the package, you described that it sounded uh, a toddler sized. Is it a toddler? Are we blowing up a toddler? <laughs> Please be a baby. We're not blowing it up. We're burning it. Thank you <laughs> it's, it, it is not a human being. It is not a living creature. Nah, good okay. enough for me. All right. Uh, persuade me on giving you a healing potion. Can I give him an advantage? Uh, he, he doesn't need it. Oh, okay. He gives you a small blue vial and says, yes, that should fix your nose. Thank you. Now, you have the rest of the afternoon because the item is still on the ship, the SS Dorsey. <gasps> it is supposed to be on the dock. You need to be close to the dock before the Montego family gets there. And I want you to get it from them. Being a pirate, would I know the ship? Uh, Arcana. Okay, I don't have any of that. No, I got two. <laughs> um, I got two to it, and I rolled a 19, so 21. It's a merchant ship. All right. Uh, I know uh, this bastard. Let's go. <laughs> you know what? I bet the captain owes you money. D12 against me. Okay. Cool. Nine. 12. Yeah, the captain owes you money. I'm going to get that bastard. He owes me some money. <laughs> We're going to fuck his shit up, and let's go. I All right, let's do it. So at midnight, once it is done, I will meet you back here. Each one of you will get 100 gold pieces. 
Uh, can Fair I enough. get can I get a little bit more for fucking up this guy because I have a personal vendetta and I hate him. I do not have a problem with the captain of the SS Dorsey, so no. Uh, well, I do. He he is merely uh, import export kind of guy. If anything, yeah. shouldn't Karash have more incentive and need less? No, don't you convinced? start. <laughs> don't you even start. Don't you even start. Uh, everybody, even perception. Start. Or, you know what? Investigation. Okay. No oh, investigation. Uh, Let's 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. I rolled good. All four of you are looking at this guy, and you notice the colors he is wearing are the colors of the girl who gave you the initial envelope. You knew that, bitch! I'd like to ask him, might you have sister or fairly close relative possibly interested in uh, other family? Montego? Montecru? Montego. Whatever the fuck their name is. It's the Mongooses. (laughs) That was my cousin. Why is she so silly? Well, with your interaction today, it has brought a bigger rift between the two families, so I do not think that we have to worry about the romantic entanglements of the Montegos and the Tabulae family. Right. For those of you that. at home, this this is Romeo and Juliet. Hmm. Have they tried that counseling? Just maybe talk it out a bit, maybe just kind of... We are not interested in counseling. We are interested in taking over High Mona. Why don't we just and fast track them and people. give them the point? Exactly. You know what I'm talking about, Harvey. We got a... Hey. Yeah. You think this Have is the first town? We at Murder Hobo Inc. do not condone lovers' deaths. We don't do we? dismiss it, but we don't condone it. So, okay, Have you so, talked to Cousin? Maybe she making big mistake. Right. Possibly caused massive tragedy between mm-hmm. families. I'm a captain. I have a whole ship, a whole crew. I mean, I got a lot going on for me. Handsome. Beyond belief. And you're going to go fuck up somebody who owes you money. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Well, I mean, can you get a day better than that? That's what I want to know. Uh, ask Avi. <laughs> yeah. He's the one <laughs> Why? Did Avi find bacon, Banjo? <laughs> <laughs> Today's it's, been a good story. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good day so far. Well, uh, it's, a good story. it's just nine o'clock, so we're just zipping right along. Uh, Too bad did, you're not barred, Avi. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys want to do anything in the afternoon or just wait let's till just, the... Let's just drink and then we can blow shit up. Yes, let's exactly. do that. I think alcohol would really help this situation. I'm going to take a nap. It helps every situation. I want a drink. Dan Strong wants to nap. Captain Karash. Scylla want a drink. Uh, Avi? Uh, Did that potion put me at full? Uh, 1d8 plus 2. No ones. Gross. Okay. um, (laughs) Because for some reason, there's a fellow in our party who punched very hard. Um, uh, 1d8. Oh, you know this. Me only punched (laughs) small lady earlier. Seven. Okay. I got seven back. Listen. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, for the first half of the afternoon, I'd like to set up and play my banjo in the tavern with a hat out. Buskin. Uh, let's do five D20s. First D20. 17. Uh, performance? Nope, just straight up. Oh, uh, I rolled 15. Second one's a six. Nine. Third is a 10. Seven. Fourth. Four. 19. And last, seven. 17. Uh, roll three d20s and add the total. I want something to be good this game. Yow. 17, 20, 32. Very nice. You made 32 gold. Hey, the crowd right. seemed to have liked you, uh, Captain Karash, uh, Scylla. Go ahead and give me constitution rolls. Uh, constitution. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. 22. Uh, you both hold your liquor well, well, because I've been drinking a lot, <laughs> <laughs> you know. There but all you do meet- is drink. There might be a meeting in Hymona if you guys need to attend. I'm uh, just, I'm just nah, throwing it out that. there. Fuck that. Hi, I'm Captain Karash. 
No, uh, I see your concern, but I don't share that same concern. I'm a I am not a quitter, by God. <laughs> Uh, Dan Strong, uh, you uh, take your short rest. You're still covered in bacon fat, uh, mm. and it's probably around dinner time. You feel well rested uh, because the lovers in that you're staying at has really comfortable beds. Probably also security cameras. So whatever. Probably uh, in, in what, the fifteen hundreds. <laughs> Th there was some serious hay in your mouth. But you said there were no the guns. No guns. Or even yeah. ele no electronics. No, no you electron know. They're just orbs of scrying in the wall. Yeah, it's a, it's a Ken coup <laughs> peeking in. <laughs> uh, so, obvious had a good day. Can you start yeah. saying curse words so the Ken coup can uh, only repeat those furthermore? Do the mimic cry. Very nice. That's excellent. Cheap bastard! Cheap bastard! <laughs> uh, when last you slept, uh, or when you went into your room, they were next door at the inn, or at the tavern. Did you want to check on them there? Yeah, me go check on them. Make sure they're not doing anything stupid. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Uh, when you walk in, you notice that your friend Avi has a hat full of gold. Captain Karash and Scylla, go ahead and roll D20s. Uh, that's how many beverages you consumed. If it's above oh. 15, you're going to suffer some dexterity. I have nine. Okay. Uh, so you both were moderate in your consumption. Uh, <laughs> you, you notice that Dan Strong uh, still glistens with the bacon grease as the sun begins to set over the plaza. Uh, and it's about time uh, you perceive to go down to the docks uh, and find Otis. I got enough fuel in me to fuck this man up. Let's go. We fucking got this. Let's do it. <laughs> Can we get some roadies? Like, you know, beer for the road? And some peanuts. Sure. Beer and Listen, beer and Listen, <laughs> Did, did you they, say they peanuts have or penis? <laughs> uh, a little you, column A, a little column B. <laughs> uh, so Scylla and Captain Karash are two fist in it food and beverage uh avi you have lined your pockets with the gold of a grateful if not toned up populace and <laughs> dan strong you're you're still tasting a bacon so you're in good shape as well uh avi dan strong do you want road beers uh no take well, it on the house we never do quest the, drunk Safe for that. Oh, you said on the house? Then yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Best not cloud judgment. Oh right, says the one who rips the back of a woman's dress and then punches like, out an old hell? lady. It was yeah, yeah. The you dress was unintentional. The old woman only was intentional because she was being shit. a bitch. Exactly. Hey, High five. Captain Karash and I. Yeah, we're yeah. not causing shit. We're just trying to have a good fucking time, man. Sometimes okay. that's just drinking and blowing shit up. Leave me don't, alone. Don't harsh my butt, dude. <laughs> Yeah. So uh, Captain Karash will be able to sniff out the salt water and lead yeah. you guys down to the docks. <laughs> there, there you go. There's there no are idea. three ships in port. One of them, uh, is Captain Karash. On the way, if there's a like a magic shop or a potion shop, I would like to buy some more potions, if possible. If not, D12 against me. Why you think you're going to get punched in the face? Some more? No, I'm still punched. I'm currently punched. Nine. 12. Yeah, you beat me. Uh, but there is a guy. Want to buy an artifact? No. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Well, that was kind of rude. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. How about, a, how, about a, how about a potion? I brandish my foot. Like, you want some? You want to go, friend? You how does one brandish a foot? <laughs> I, I lean over to uh, Captain Karash and go, maybe this guy has accident and we get uh, all of his shit? All right, you talk to him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. You talk to him. I don't oh, trust God. him to sell honest objects. <laughs> <laughs> Listen Jesus. here, buddy. Uh, what kind of a day is it when the six foot seven dragonborn has to ask the half orc to create the accident? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pulling the room. Uh, just, yeah, well, I tell you what. We will put a pin in that. And when we come back from our, our meeting, okay. we will go and handle him. Okay. Uh, I want to see what he has. One second. I walk up. Right. Uh, hello, friend. I'm interested in a potion of healing uh, and not murdering you. So if we could just come to an agreement here, that'd be fantastic. 
And well, I got I'm all for the not murdering me. Nineteen uh, persuasion. You know what? I do have a potion of healing. Like a real one? Of course. I only sell, I only sell the best, my friend. And you you look like a very astute buyer. I don't think I could pull the wool over your eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna brandish my knuckles like this. i <laughs> not have no funny stuff or your friend, however, I do not think he likes me. I don't. Just very rewarding. I mean, I'm going to find out if I like you in about two minutes anyways. I'm going to buy the potion. I drink it. If it goes badly, I go, ah, can I fall over? And then uh, he beats you to death with your own face. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, he hands you a small blue vial. He asks for 20 gold. I give him 20 gold and I drink the small blue vial. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, constitution check. That is not good. <laughs> Matt 20. Yeah. Dude, it's sweet. You, you don't feel any healthier. And then I look at him, I'd be like, is, is it, is it, is it time? <laughs> We will murder him on the way back. Okay. All right. All right. You. Oh, but if you could do me a favor um, and just return my 20 gold uh, for your syrup water. Whoa, 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 no, I whoa, grab whoa. him by the neck when I hear him and I start shaking him. Give him a shot <laughs> right now, you charlatan. Grab him. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I have my strength? Uh, strength or dexterity? Um, all right. Uh, 19. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you easily grab him by the scruff of the neck and you begin to shake him. You hear clinking glass uh, and and several items fall out of hidden pockets. Then I'm going to start shaking him some more. Where's it all at? Mm -hmm. uh, Avi, Dance Drog, Scylla, perception check while Captain Karash is shaking down the vendor. Thief! You are a thief, a charlatan, and I will not put up with this. I'm getting all my good rules. Nat 20 again. My eyes are glued to the wall, near the wall, <laughs> whatever the fuck it is. Stella. I'm just going to start eating my peanuts and watch. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Avi, uh, you uh, see silver acorn helmets headed this way. <laughs> well, I'm not worried. Just keep going. Give me my stuff back. Uh, so either uh, I grab anything that looks like it's worth about 20 gold, nothing more, nothing less, because I just am interested in getting just my money back, because there is honor amongst some thieves. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, we get moving. I, or we drag uh, him with them. You want to take him with us? I'm taking him with him. Us? I'm taking him with me, and if the guards come, I'm still holding him like this is a thief. I'm turning Okay, him then I collect uh, the stuff on the ground, and we get keep... everything. Yeah. When we and uh, we proceed to the docks, uh, yes. the man begins to yell, "Help! Help! I'm being repressed." <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> uh, Captain Karash, D12 against me. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a good one. This one was a good one. Uh, nine. Uh, the guards look at you, and they keep walking. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Throw them in the alley. That'll be a lesson. Benny, clean up your does, act. Benny does not get any help from the guards. You clean up your act. You learn to turn your life around, get you a decent job, and stop stealing from people like we just did. All right. Uh, <laughs> Avi, D10. Totally not hypocritical. Not oh, at all. No. Is this going to be uh, <laughs> the delayed onset healing motion? <laughs> Nine. You get nine hit points back. <laughs> oh. It could have been see, way worse. See, he looks healthier. He looks healthier. Shut up. <laughs> <Kick him back. laughs> no, 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 no. Don't be that kind of a game. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> I want my stuff back. What are you talking about? Your friend took all my stuff. I give him his stuff back. All right. Okay, he, he walks right, the and, other way. And I dust him off, all right. Yeah, yeah. If I could give you just one like little piece of salesman advice, maybe let them know it takes about two minutes to kick in before we um, murder you. you Mileage may died. vary, my friend. <laughs> Excuse me, Avi. What healing potion take two minutes to kick in? Sounds questionable. I hey, don't know. He is tall. Again. He is tall man. It, it, it takes a while to get up there. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Get very up much. where? Healing potion for whole body, not mind. 
A couple of blocks later, you reach the docks and you see the three ships. Uh, Captain Karash's <laughs> ship is there, uh, the Titanic is there, and the uh, SS Dorsey is there, I believe. Migo Drojo and Titanic. You get off that ship. I cast Frostbolt at it. <laughs> Sink it in port. Unfortunately, I do not have Frostbolt as a paladin. Uh, everybody make a perception check as the light starts to fade on this glorious day. 11. Uh, 16. 20, 21. Uh, 21. Captain Karash, uh, you eyeball the Dorsey, and then you notice Box... Right there on the dock. Right there. That fucker, right there. I know that ship anywhere. Do I see my man? Do I see the captain? Give me a perception check. Is he your man if you want to beat the shit out of him? Yes, he is. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I see Herp that. Fool. A nine? No, you don't, but you do see two dock hands inspecting this rather large box. The closer you get to it, uh, the more you notice that it says Montego across it. Wait a minute. Wait. I've been drinking, so help me out here. That's the the purple family. Okay. Correct. That's the one that we don't want. We don't like right now. Uh, okay. Cool. I'd like to move up and ahead and off to the side from the main group and try to hide as best I can. Hey, do you want the box? Do you want the bag? Before yeah, I'll take go. the bag. I'll take the Where bag. Go? There you go. Yeah. There you go. You do your thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dan Strog, what are you doing? <sighs> I love urban adventures. Anything can happen. <laughs> They're always fun. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to hold back for now and just keep an eye on everything. Scylla? I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold my action to see what Captain Karash does. All right, I, I, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. I'm assume I'm seeing Avi do his little roguey thing, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna walk up the thing like I own this place. Where is that bastard at? And just kind of wink at Avi like, "You go do your thing," and I'm just gonna kind of try to find it. But yeah, you do your yeah. thing. And the two fans your... look at you and go, "I'm afraid we aren't sure which bastard you're talking about." The fucking captain, you dumb fuck nut. You get him now, or you will be wearing your tongue for shoelaces. I'll take an intimidation check. Oh, um, not very scary. Um, uh, what is it? It's a seven. Uh, yeah, they uh, look at you. Can I uh, stand behind Captain Crash's muscle to try sure. to? Yeah. Uh, the the heavily tattooed arms with anchors on them look at you. They spit out their tobacco juice and go, uh, "Popeye." Look, yeah. Look, uh, pal. Uh, we don't work on that ship. We're dock hands. You got a problem with the captain? You go up Why there. Why am but... I talking to you? Sorry. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> so, so anyway, uh, I know tonight is the underground crab fighting contest. So as they oh. continue their talk, uh, Scylla... You've seen an underground crab fighting contest? <laughs> Scylla, yeah, you'd think they were only in Cathaway, but apparently uh, Hymona has them too. Uh, don't forget oh to when, when we see title match between Cathaway and Hymona. <laughs> uh, that's that, that that's later in the season. <laughs> that's the world championships of uh, underground crab fighting contests. Uh, Scylla, you take in the information, uh, but it, it's, we'll go do that later. What the hell else do we have to do once we're done blowing shit up? Exactly. Yes, that sounds like wonderful times from peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Karash, you storm up the gangplank. Uh, since you're drunk, I'll take a dexterity check. Oh, I'm good at Not that. Not a save, I... but just a check. Okay, uh, my deck. Please is... fall in. Please fall in. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I got a 15. Okay, you storm up to the top, look around. Uh, you find yourself a sailor. Dan Strong, uh, you're watching this unfold. You are also catching wind Can I just of this count underground. The, say I'm hiding somewhere behind a box on the Oh, sure. Docks. Yeah. Plenty of boxes there. Uh, there's still dock workers moving about, but they just think you're taking a leak. Okay, well, I'm trying to I'm trying to take my time because I know Avi probably needs time to do all this. I'm hoping that I'm being loud and distracting. <laughs> Where? Are, but uh, they are dock hands, and they're just kind of leaning up against this box, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I lost five gold pieces the other day on that thing. But you know what? At least he was good in the morning because that was the best. Get back to work! 
who is this guy? Who the <laughs> hell is this guy? Uh, Avi, uh, it's clear that these two yahoos are not going to go anywhere. Where so- are the hey, question? Where's the underground crab fighting? Yeah, this is a good what, question. Are, what, are you new here? Yeah, I am new here. Can you show me where it's happening? Me, me only know where it is in Cathaway, not what's your, Mona. What's your charisma, Sola? Thirteen. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Leans on Did box they like more. Brawny women. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'd be happy to show you, my dear. It's right up here if you want to walk ahead of me and I'll just stare at you. I'm trying to find something to throw at him. I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Can, well, can, I, don't can, I, sli- me, can I slide me... kick the box he's leaning on? Yes, do that. Uh, yeah, if you want to. Well, hang on. Uh, let, me, let me lead them off first. Let's try and do it this way. Let me beat them up on my own. I literally right. have a. I can beat people up all on my own. You are a strong, independent woman. I am. I am. Uh, so so they lead you up the gangplank, and uh, you can smell from their very aquatic-like breath uh, that they've oh. been chomping down on crab. And they're like, it's right over there, and we'll be there later. And you see uh, where they're pointing, and it's a tavern called Long John Silver's. <laughs> well, do we want to go grab drinks now? Oh, we just had drinks. Uh, no, did Summers even not. serve crab? Sure, I'll, we'd love to. You know what? Why don't we buy you drinks? Beautiful. <laughs> and they they just beautiful shape that unibrow right off. <laughs> I'm walking back down the gangplank, and I'm motioning to her like, should we? <laughs> I'm like, I kind of look at you like, you take this one, I'll take this one. Uh, uh. Rolling drinks on the wharf. He's wharf chicks, my... man. <laughs> <laughs> like, you take this guy, I'm going to take this guy. Let's just drop him. Right, Avi, you that. notice that uh, Scylla has gone ahead and distracted these two uh, idiots, and they're going up the gangplank uh, along the dock. Uh, you have a clear view of Dan Strong. How well are you hiding, or are you going to let Avi see you? Because if he sets it on fire when you're going to try and push it over, that's going to be awesome. Um, how hard, how hard, how Heidi is Dan Strong right now? Yeah. How Heidi is he? Yeah, uh, he's a big ass half orc. Yeah, but he's, he's coming from the other side of the box. Oh, well, I rolled a 19 <laughs> on my self check. All right. Uh, Avi, so I just don't perception see him? check. I don't <laughs> think you're going to see him, though. <laughs> oh, five. I rolled a five. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, you, a- you walk right up to the box. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I, I I I I'm still not sold. It's a I knock on the. I go. There's no air holes. Okay, that's another thing I was looking for. Yeah. How easy does it look like I could get into the box? Do you have a crowbar? I, I have these tools. I have a crowbar. Hey, shut up! You're going after the. You're, you're rolling bums on the board. <laughs> I have a rapier and a banjo and thieves tools. I, I suppose you could probably pry it up. Okay, I'd like to open it up and see what's in there. Dan Strong, somebody's trying to get out of the box. Roll me an intelligence check. <laughs> oh my god. This is riveted. You know, I don't actually have a modifier either way on intelligence, but I rolled in that one. Uh, <laughs> somebody's trying to get out of this box that you're supposed to set on fire. Yeah, it's on fire now. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Avi, you, you use your thieves tools to pry it open. And as you kind of lift open the crate, you peer in, but through the crack, the little seam on the other side, <laughs> fire! <laughs> Oak! Everybody <laughs> smell bacon! Uh, Captain Karash and Scylla. Uh, Captain Karash, give me a stealth check so that you can sneak up on these two boys. All right, let's see. Because the presence of a manly man like yourself is not going to abode well. They may have to defend Scylla's honor. <laughs> one of them hears you clomping up and spins around. Uh, Scylla, the other one, puts his arm around you and says, come, lady, let me buy you a drink. Can I uh, grab his arm and toss him for getting handsy? Sure, go yeah. ahead. All right. What are... uh, I'll give you strength or dexterity. Strength or dex? I'm going to go... Sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> can I, can I do it as an athletics leg. check? Sure. 18. Oh yeah, uh, you set him on his ass. Uh, he takes high five. 
Okay. He takes two hit points of damage uh, and is angry. Captain Karash, uh, the other uh, wharf dude, looks at you and goes, hey, back off, pal. This is our date. Kyle and Craig to the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go ahead. Is your knee named Goblin Craig? <laughs> my oh. leg is Craig, and my Kyle is Craig. Martha oh. Stewart, Kyle, Craig, Crash. Okay, that's how you <laughs> named your knee Goblin Craig, and I was like, that's amazing. Ask her what her penis is named, because I'm sure we're going to find that Mr. one. Mr. Wiggle Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give him Kyle or Craig. 14. We'll oh, yeah, oh, easily. Yeah. The kick is up, and it is... Good. Give me a D6 plus your strength modifier. Okay, D6 plus uh, eight. Uh, that turns him cross-eyed, and as he's on the gangplank, he's going to have to save at disadvantage. Bloop! Into the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. Uh, Avi, will switch back to you, or Dan Strong, we'll switch back to you. Oh, fire! Fire! Hey, hey, my intelligence is a ten. Thank you very much. Oh, you were the one you were an idiot. My, my speech is just uh, not great. I'm still really me, good me, at the half though. work. I I must be highly educated. <laughs> uh, so uh, you step back. You look at your handiwork. Whatever the hell's in there is on fire. Miko, hide on box closer to shore. Yes, Fair please. enough. Avi, uh, you're up. Let's see if you burn off your eyebrows. Go ahead and give me a <laughs> dex check. Well, uh, how did he start the fire? I had the arson kit. Like, I'm assuming he has like just basic fire starter stuff, and there's packaging, yeah. so it's not bad, but it's yeah. not like a... Okay. It's not going to be a roaring fire, but it's on fire. Is that a dex check? Ooh. Yep. Night? S nope, 17, sorry. Yeah, you, uh, you notice the small flames licking at the box, and... Uh, you can throw the contents of the arson kit in and accelerate the fire because it is wanna, a gasoline-like product. I want to see what's in there. Reach on in there. I want to throw some of the, the fluff off top and see yep, what, see what there, is. there is straw and hay. Mm -hmm. uh, there seems to be a handle of some kind. So give like me a, a dex, dex <laughs> check to pull it out. Uh, 15. Like a, like a Crown Royal handle or... <laughs> Yeah. Nope. Uh, as you pull it out, there seems to be a circular cloth item attached to a wire binding, almost like a wheel. Uh, and as you pull it out, a wooden leg is attached to this thing. That was a puppet? Nope. Does it, does it's it happen to have a lampshade in the box as well? That is the lampshade. <laughs> oh, God, it. oh, I just dunked that shit back in there and let it burn on it its is own. A, it is Italian because it's fragile. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Oh my god, get out. <laughs> I don't want more Christmas stuff, Frank. Nah, I'd love, no, I just want that one. one. We're, hey. we're a little over three months too late. Yeah, it's, I, it's April. it in, lets the fire go. Scylla, uh, the guy's not happy that you dropped him. Uh, D12 against me. Oh, I, said, like, I don't like when guys would get handsy. I don't even know you. If they're still on the dock, I want to go over to assist. Six. Uh, Dan Strong is trying to hide in the boxes. They are up above the dock on the wharf. Uh, Scylla, he looks at you and he goes, I like it rough. Oh, good. I'm up for this. <laughs> Tell me I can punch him now. Can then punch your him. fucking fists up, man. Well, he starts to get up. So if you want to hit him, it's an advantage. All right. Um, what's near me? Me. She is on the other the side of him. Uh, you know what? I'll say there's a pelican right there on one of the pilings. Right. You could beat him to death with a pelican. Beat him to death and just like weapon? pick it up. And... Anyone else in the lighthouse? All right. <laughs> 17. Okay, you crack him upside the head with a pelican who gives it a loud squawk. Uh, give me. I'm going to give you a lower end. Give me a D8. A D8. And I do have Tavern Brawler. Yep. Kind of up the, okay, so D8 for Pelican. Mm -hmm. That is going to be for 11. Okay. Uh, Captain Karash, you... But you know, I can't do math. That's for nine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you notice that this guy is a little bit stunned, a little bit wobbly. He kind of turns to you, and you can kind of see the birds floating around his head, and he seems to be a little disoriented. What would you like to do? Headbutt into the drink. See if you hit him. If you miss him, eh, it might be you going into the drink. Maybe. I can swim. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
16. Oh, yeah. Clocks him. In he goes uh, right on Mr. Winky of his friend, and they both plunge into the water. All right. Uh, Dan Strong, you notice that the uh, captain and the lady that you were traveling with have gone ahead and fortunately not killed them <laughs> as per restrictions. Uh, I think would you like to remain hidden or go up and meet with them? Uh, me stay hidden because shit seems like it's going to go south soon. Okay. Uh, Avi, you notice that Dan Strong is still trying to hide in the dim light. You notice that Captain Karash and Scylla have taken care of uh, the paramours uh, and dumped them both into the drink. Uh, there are no whistles. There are no guards at this time. However, uh, the fire is intensifying on the box. Is that where we're supposed to fi- light it? I-, I thought we had explicit instructions. Yep. You, you have done what you were told to do. However, eh, there's a bonfire there. Okay, where is uh, Dan Strong? Yeah. He's down on the dock somewhere hiding. Wouldn't that be perception versus myself? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't think she, I don't think he's going to see you. You can, you can try a perception, but that 19 stealth, man. He's hiding no. in the shadows. Uh, base is two, so ain't no way. <laughs> uh, so you smell the bacon, but you can't find it. I am smelling bacon. I am really hungry. <laughs> well, you, you drank a lot, and the peanuts just aren't doing it. No. Uh, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna say out of out of the darkness, me understand bacon good. Is, is there like an IHOP here? I hope so. There's Long John Silver's. I know there's International House of Pussy, but that's not what we're looking for. Captain Karash knows where all Would you, would you like to rethink houses. that, Karash? <laughs> yes. International House of Pussy. I know where that is. It's right to the left, up the street. There this is go. not Captain Karash's first role. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's, there's the Long John Silvers with the underground crab fighting contest. Yeah, let's go to the crab fighting contest. All okay. right, crab fights. Wait, 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 wait. We need to find Dan Strong. No, I mean, I was going to say we have. What, uh, what time is it? Yeah, we have. To, we have to win. It's uh, shortly at dusk, so it's like seven o'clock. We have. Time. Where do we have to go? And we've already burned the appropriate box. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I don't know is this. The, is there an alleyway nearby, possibly with boxes or barrels or empty kegs that I can hide in? Sure. He's so heady. Well, I mean, he's just so To just sneaky. keep an eye on, you know, the box to see what's going on with the Montegos. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. So you're going to remain hidden from a safe perch? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. The basically. stupid ass. We got to beat that captain up. He owes me. Uh, how, much, how many gold pieces do you think he owes me? <laughs> no, I'll say, I'll say he owes you 50 gold pieces. Yeah, I'll, go with 50. I'll go with 50. But you were told that he's not on board. Where the fuck is he? Crab Maybe he's fighting. at the crab, is he a fight crab fighter. Yeah, let's go. Would I know if he's a crab fighter? Because he's a peasant. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly seems like the happening place here. All right, let's go to crab fights. If we find him, I'm choking him out. Right where he stands. Fair enough. Scylla and Captain Karash are headed to Long John Silver's. Avi, where do you want to go? I follow. Okay. Uh, Dan Strong, you have got yourself quite the perch. Uh, as they go up higher on the dock and down on the uh, wharf businesses, you lose sight of them. Uh, but a few minutes later, both of the uh, suitors for Scylla uh, get themselves out of the water, run over, start to grab buckets, uh, but are still kind of wobbly. Uh, one talks to the I'm going to tackle them into the bay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and hit one of them. And then I'll That's turn to Avi. Are you going to try after- for both? Both. For both. That's a uh, 20 not natural for unarmed. Mm-hmm. And see if you can hit the other one at the same time. <laughs> Let's say 17. Okay. Now give me a dex check as you plow towards the edge of the dock. <laughs> Natural 20. You stop and in they both go. Yes. I'm immediately going to go back and hide <laughs> behind a different set of boxes. Okay. Just so they're not like, oh, what the fuck happened? We saw some half work run out of this area. Yeah. Give me a stealth check. <laughs> That is a 18. 
fair enough. You get in your perch, you hear them splashing and cursing, uh, and then you hear several other voices yelling, get some buckets, get some fucking buckets right now. <laughs> Oh no! This is this can't happen. Okay, we got the we hey, have hey, to hey, Captain Karash, you ain't there. Captain <laughs> Karash, Scylla, and Avi. Y'all ain't finishing the job like I am. <laughs> you uh, you go into Long John Silver's, and this place is rocking. I mean, it is rocking. It's just this huge open bar area. But... The one saying it's a uh, rock lobster. Yes. Oh, very I nice. Yeah. There, there is a musical group performing tonight only, <clears throat> the B-50s. <laughs> uh, I will take investigation from Avi, Captain Karaj, and Scylla, please. Ooh, I'm just happy to be there with a three. <laughs> rolled a two. Nine. I rolled a net one. Wow. Uh, Captain Karaj, good news. There's hookers here. Uh, oh. Scylla, Thank Avi, God. it's a bar. Just... And it's a rocket bar. All right, uh, I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna the find band the, is over there. I'm gonna find the skankiest hooker because what my what I know the skankiest one knows the most information and see if she knows if the they captain... know the most everything. Right. So <laughs> I'm gonna find the skankiest hooker I can find and see if she's seen the captain. Give me an investigation check. Oh, I better be good. Okay, seventeen this time. Uh, you find somebody with a one. She's got leprosy and really old lingerie she is a charisma of one she scares even your cold-hearted uh soul uh she is she's got video she's batshit ugly she's a double bagger uh and she looks at you coming towards her and all three teeth just light up listen here you heart <laughs> stay away from me i want some information god damn it I need to know where the Captain Dempsey is, and you better tell me, so help me. I will do anything for two gold. Oh, no. <laughs> One gold and, and I won't and, kick and, you. and she leans forward. Anything. <laughs> I will pay you to stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> and tell me <laughs> where, this, where the Captain is, you hag. Tell me where she is. I give you one now, if you tell me, and I give you the other one. I I gave her the other gold. I go, I just like, ugh. <laughs> he, he's in the back room where the crab fighting's going on. Bitch, if you're uh, lying to me, so help me. I already roughed up somebody in the alleyway today. I drunk, headbutt someone into the ocean. I will fuck your ugly ass up. You're very <laughs> forward with all of your information. <laughs> she looks at you and goes, you're going to mess this up. Uh, That's what I, you're gonna do. You're gonna mess this you, up. <laughs> you got me. You got me. You got me. High five. No, don't touch me. Don't touch this me. is what you're gonna mess up. A one. Let make it better. Yeah. Oh, no shit. <laughs> Call you a plastic surgeon. You All hit right. me. You might put my nose from this side over to this side, but you aren't gonna make me worse. I'll give you another go, peeps, for being funny. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Boom. Let's go. Let's so, go. Uh, she points. And you notice, and Avi notices, there's a door, private. Uh, there's a sign that says private on it. Uh, Scylla, bartender, says, uh, hey there, uh, Lassie, what can I get you? Yeah. Oh, just a quick uh, note, before we leave the, uh, the old, the old, the old, the old uh, prostitute, I cast uh, mending on her mouth to maybe get the breath bit not as bad, or maybe the uh, just mending. Just, the, just Avi, the some mending. <laughs> just, I throw just happened? some non- just I, I i think that only is non-organic material is that broken tooth just magically <laughs> just that's, that's right even if it doesn't even if it just smoke shoots out my hand and nothing happens i'm just like mm, ah. uh back over to dan strong uh you notice that dudes in purple and gold are uh racing to get buckets of water but you can already tell that box is fucking torched. Uh, they try oh, how many dudes? Three. Three dudes and two dock workers. Uh, give me a perception, or give me an investigation check. 15. You notice that one of them looks strangely familiar. Uh, here we mm -hmm. go. 
Mm. Get him. Is it uh, weapons free yet, Frank? Yeah, if you, if you want to whip out your blade, go right ahead. I don't mind. Oh. You're on the dock. There aren't any cops around here, but there are five. Uh, how, how close are they? Can I hit all three with one swing? Oh, no. Yeah. Not even with you a might be charge. able to hit two of them. I see um, where you're going with this. That's cool. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to aim to hit the two the 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 asshole who looks familiar and the one closest to him. Sure. With my greatsword? Sure. Go ahead. You leap from your hidden area and go after Eltor Montego. Uh, that's he has a, a name. That's yeah, a of course 20, he's got a, Everybody's got a name. 24 to hit. Sword, Kyle. Oh, Sorry. yeah. 24 easily hits Eltor. Great. For both of them. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. 20, not natural to hit. Yeah. You get Eltor and one of his cousins. What's the cousin's name? Steve. 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 Steve, the cousin. <laughs> wow, it feels like he was really kind of pigeonholed at the beginning of his life to be named Steve. The cousin. <laughs> at least it wasn't Eltor 2. <laughs> or Ugly Hag 1. <laughs> hey, you paid her. <laughs> I did. Uh, that's... 16 and 17 damage. 16 on Eltor, 17 on the other one. Boy, did you piss them off. <laughs> I hope I did. Oh, okay. Uh, now we will go initiative on Dan Strong. Oh, no. We can't hear anything. 16. Inside. That beats me. Uh, you've gained the attention of the other cousin, uh, so you have two cousins, Eltor and the Doc guys. Give me an intimidation against the Doc guys. One or two rolls? Uh, just one. That's going to be a... 17. The Doc guys look at the fight unfolding, reach into their jackets... And put in pipes. They're gonna watch this unfold. Oh no! I like their, uh, I like their methodology. So go ahead and uh, give it a shot against the trio. That's why I'm a pirate. I think this is not gonna be the threesome that Captain Karash expected to see. Listen, I always support the patronage of sex workers. <laughs> so three hit rolls. You always have to. Uh, yeah, if you could do three attacks. Uh, no. No, I cannot do three attacks. <laughs> yeah, because you're third level. You're about to get your shit pushed. <laughs> uh, anyways, 18 to hit. Yep. Are you going after Eltor or Steve? Uh, yeah, Eltor. Or Bill? <laughs> I think Bill's worse than Steve. Oh, Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> Let's say 13 damage on Eltor. Uh, that KOs him. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, back in the bar at Long John Silver's, uh, Captain Karash, Avi, and Scylla, uh, you weave your way through somewhere along the line. Scylla, Scylla got a beer, a big beer, too. It's like in a, uh, what it's do they call it? Yeah. Like yeah, not the boot, it's the yard. Hmm. It's a big right. yard. I would yeah. like to, if it was possible, maybe I could purchase one as well. <laughs> if, if it's no sweat on anyone. If you want to go up to the bar, go ahead. Captain Karash, do you want to go to the bar or you want to go to the private room? I want to go to the private room, but I'm going to turn to Avi and say, hey, I'm going to talk to this guy. <laughs> I'm, going to give him, I'm going to give him a talk. You come in after you drink that beer, have Scylla come in behind you. We give him the little bums rush, and I'll give you guys some of the cake of whatever. All right. Okay, uh, so uh, I will listen, uh, and then if I hear some scuffle, I will come in, and I will murder everyone that's not here. <laughs> yes! Yes, high five! Mm. Still and then, uh, can I eat one? I'm kind of hungry. It's been a long day. I only had a half a pig. You only get to I'm... eat the losers in underground crab fighting contests. I, I love that. I want that. I Yes, yes, yes. Eat the hearts of your enemies, whatever it is. Do it. Yes. So, Avi, 
So go uh, for it. you go up to the bar. Avi, you get your yard. Are you going to get a yard for Captain Karash too? I'll get her. I'll get Karash one. Oh, all right. So now you're two fisted, Captain Karash. I'm going to take it. I'm going to uh, take it. Go, 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 go. Well, no, no, no. You guys are separated right now. He's going to the bar. You're going oh. to the door. Uh, as you get to the door, this huge fucking guy steps in front of the door and goes, "Can I help you?" Yes. Kick. <laughs> okay kick the kick the doorman yes so angry i am i want my money all right uh let's see that is a 17 oh yeah are we goal posting him or just punching him in the face <laughs> hey leg kick okay greatest footballer of all time go ahead knock loose his uh, rugby I, balls what do i need to roll uh, D6 for kicks. Okay. Add your strength. While this is happening, I lean over to Celia. Like, yeah. you see, it's easy. Uh, it's not even like a, a, it's a cannibalism thing. It's like, oh, you eat cows, I eat whatever. It's fine. You know? You don't yeah. live your best life. It's an ideology, just like anybody, you know? Bodyguard's not <laughs> thrilled with that. Uh, Dan Strong, uh, there's two of them left. Uh, the dock workers are still puffing on their pipes. pipes. Yep. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Understandable. Maybe in Since the same Steve, all. Uh, is 14 get you? Yep. And Cousin Bill, uh, does an 18 get you? It's the same as my AC. Okay. Uh, six damage. Oh. And you are up. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Sacred Weapon. And then just, um, yeah, that's basically my turn. I don't have any uh, quick action, so. Captain Karash, uh, the bouncer's not thrilled with you and is going to double fist you in the mouth. Let's go. I get a double attack. Uh, three and five. Uh, your dexterity must be too high as he's a really shitty pugilist and misses. You're up. Avi, Scylla, you hear the commotion at the door. And notice that Captain Karaj has yet again gotten himself into a fight. Okay. Um, that hits. Okay. I turn to Scylla and go, do we wait or do we uh, go now? Nine. Mm, I'll give it another couple rounds and see, you know. It's, okay. I, sit I don't here. think the captain will need help, but just in case. Uh, Dan Strong. 21. Yeah, that'll fucking hit. <laughs> uh, and 13. So just mm -hmm. one hits you again. Uh, only for three this time. Let me know when you're at half. Half's your magic number. Getting close. Getting close, but not yet. Uh, Dan Strong attack. Captain Karash attack. Which one hit me? The one, the one hit you the first time, Steve, and Bill hit you the second time. 19. I'm going to hit Steve because he deserves that shit. Okay. He's the cousin. Uh, seven. He's unconscious. All right, I'm just going to move him out of the way and go through the door. Okay, fair enough. Uh, 24 to hit Steve right in the jaw. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a TKO, I'm pretty sure. That is 15 damage. He doesn't even get his arms out. He just falls back in a <laughs> hump. Uh, and his head comes real close to the smoldering ashes and you see just firefly fire start you're gonna burn his, the fire on his head or in his hair captain karash you've made it through uh let's do bill first uh 23 uh seven damage okay no to dan strong is that half 23? No, uh, 7 to Dan Strong. Oh, okay. Hold on. Wait. 7 damage? Yep. Yeah, that's under half. Uh, you are knocked unconscious. For half hit points? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was in the notes. Yeah. I had to adjust fighting. Uh, don't worry, they aren't going to kill you. <laughs> 
Captain Karash, you throw open the door and it's like a Mexican cockfight. Uh, there's just a great big old pit and people are throwing in crabs and they have used some kind of adhesive with a knife and the crabs each have a knife and they're trying to stab each other. People are yelling, there's money being exchanged. Give me an investigation check to see if you find your person. Battle. Uh, no. Actual 20. So two twenty-two. Uh you do not see him in here. Oh. Close the door. Excuse me. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you gonna go kick the shit out of that ugly bitch? <laughs> no, no. I'm just gonna go back uh to Avi and uh Scylla and, like well, couldn't find him. Uh, Dan Strong. Uh, I thought we were a weapon. I asked you about weapons out. It, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the, you're, no, you're, you're, the notes did say all hit points can be used. Yeah, no, they aren't trying to kill you. Uh, as as your vision starts to pick up, you see the one guy that was fighting you, and he's dragging his friends up the dock, uh, and the two dock guys are just smoking on their pipe. So you were just out for a brief second. They didn't tattoo your forehead or anything like that. Do I have an action this round or no? Sure, you can get up. Can I also use uh, lay on hands? Sure. Okay. You feel refreshed. <laughs> yeah, if they were trying to kill you, it's all your hit points. If they're trying to knock you out, I'm just going with half. I wonder what your oath is. What right. kind of conviction you have? <laughs> <laughs> so you're healed. Uh, the one dude's trying to drag two bodies away. Um, you know, he's busy. You can go jump him if you want, or you can make your escape. Mm, I'm going to go. I'm going to try and beat the shit out of the guy who's dragging the two bodies. Fair enough. I will give you an attack at advantage. Why not? Oh, yeah, we haven't killed anybody yet. No. I, he's, he's been really good. He's Frank. about to kill this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he has not been a single death. Roll your damage dice and then re-roll your damage dice. Add both and then add your modifiers. Murder on the docks. That's what I should have called this fucking thing. Yeah. Woo. So. Hmm, 21 damage. You killed that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is dead. <laughs> uh, Captain I, Karash comes out. I'd like out. to uh, toss their bodies into the lake. Well, the other two are just unconscious. Are you going to finish the job on them? Yes. Okay. Oh. Whoosh, slit their throats. The doc guy looks at you and goes, oh, that's just rude. <laughs> How, that's more than rude, but... Me not want to debate, debate semantics with you right now. <laughs> Just run home to your wives. Wives? Whatever, dude. <laughs> and they pay you no attention and enjoy their stagnant, foul-smelling herb that they're smoking. Can uh, I intimidate them to run back to their wives? You can try. You didn't do Why so hot last time. Is. Could be a husband. You don't know. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. They, they, maybe, maybe they're married. Run back to their significant others. That works. There you go. They're swingers. Calm down. Right? Open relationship. Judgy. Yeah. Judgy uh, much. 18. So they will leave, but they aren't too afraid of you. But yeah, they'll take your advice and leave. Uh, back in Long John Silver's, uh, <laughs> Avi, Scylla, Captain Karash comes walking back to you. <laughs> Good find him. You kicked the shit you out of that man's balls. <laughs> yeah. I give her a beer or give Thank him a beer. You. Thank you. I'm going to go. down some beers. At, yeah. at 955, I will say you guys can get your beer on. Uh, Dan Strong, <laughs> do you want to join him at Long John Silver's? Yes, no. I'm going to go back to the uh, tavern, the uh, Shakespeare and tavern where we drink the man. <laughs> I was gonna say, say I am. I am keeping. Other an eye party out. members didn't do shit. <laughs> I took out three Montegos and Montegos. Feel like me deserve more reward than those assholes. You know what? I will let you d twelve against me to see if you get a bonus. That's a one. <laughs> yeah, I had a five. You get a bonus of fifty more gold. 
So dude hands you over 450 gold pieces, tells you, don't forget to share it with your partners and walks. Oh, I thought we had to be there at midnight. I was killing time. Yeah. Yeah, No, he was there. He was still drinking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Me share. (laughs) Me share. How much percent? 52 percent divided between the three of them. Okay, for some reason you know math, but where did you lose you? (laughs) Me intelligence 10. Me not that dumb. All right, good. We have Uh, speech issues. Yeah. Obviously, obviously this scenario has a whole lot more to it. Uh, But you know what? It's about 10 o'clock, so we'll go ahead and call it uh, a very successful. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, Kyle. See, 10 o'clock, Kyle. That's how you do shit. Uh, I would say this is going to be a very successful ending, even though Avi took a couple punches. Dan Strong is going to be wanted by the law. Captain Karash is going to be hunted down by ugly prostitutes. But Scylla <laughs> is going to get all the drinks that uh, she can handle. So, uh, well, I know care. He fled back to Cathaway. <laughs> They more bastards with the winner there. with the winner. Take the winner. Uh, let's do final thoughts. Uh, Tyson, what'd you think? I think it was very fun. I got punched in the face several times. It was all, it was a goof. It was a lark. I have a story now to tell. Avi no bard. Why have story though? <laughs> uh, big Mike, what'd you think? It was a good scenario. I'm sure knowing you, there's way more stuff to go through for this. There is. With people who are less trying to derail the entire scenario than us. Well, a- actually, I wrote this one for uh, publishing purposes. So, uh, Tessa, or I'm sorry, Terrace uh, Tabulae is going to hire you to fuck with the Montague or Montegos, and uh, the matron of the Montego clan uh, is going to hire you to fuck with them as well well but uh, i knew we wouldn't get nearly through all of it uh but what we did i i am glad that we did so but yes there's tons more you got to purchase it folks in about a year when it comes out uh christy what'd you think uh just normal day you know normal day in uh you know finding prostitutes ugly severely ugly prostitutes severely ugly prostitutes (laughs) Something making a child cry and shaking down someone in an alleyway. Yeah, you guys I actually uh, beat up two kids. I hope you're all happy. I beat uh, up no children. Same. We'll step it up. I beat a- up a- Ashley, well. your your game was lagging today. <laughs> you didn't kill anybody. You didn't beat up any uh, kids. Uh, what'd you I know th- I didn't kill anybody. Didn't I only threw like one guy to the ground. I beat him with a what a seagull. Yes. A yeah, pelican, yeah. a pelican, yeah. A pelican, so, sorry, a pelican. Is there a difference between seagulls and pelicans? I don't know. I, I, I think <laughs> there is, but I think the ASPCA is going to be knocking on Scylla's door. <laughs> Improvised weapons, Frank. That's true. Improvised weapons. Improvised, we- improvised weapons are always the best kind of weapons. Uh, folks, this has been uh, Murder Hobo Inc. We certainly appreciate you watching. We really appreciate the cast for coming in and giving us two and a half hours of their time because Green Room's a half hour. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy some of our stuff. Great. If you want to chat with us, uh, do the Murder Hobo Inc. Discord thing. And you know what? If you want a seat on here, uh, I, I mean, come on. Uh, tell your friends at work when you go back that uh, you beat somebody to death with a pelican, for God's sake. That's a story in and of itself. Why not? Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, we may have a game tomorrow. Uh, and if you thought tonight was a shit show, uh, tomorrow's <laughs> improvised urban adventure is sure to be right up your alley. Uh, not positive that we're going to do it, but uh, follow us on Twitter and you'll see uh, the notice. Uh, but these guys will all be getting an email if we're doing it. Uh, that one <laughs> is probably going to be a little bit earlier, maybe four o'clock not sure yet still working out the details for all of us here at murder hobo inc wash your hands cover your mouth when you cough and rewash your hands again stay inside that's what fucking isolate means and don't listen to the governor of georgia everybody wave goodbye <laughs> and tell them thanks thanks, thanks. bye wash your hands